This short materialize OrthoView training video covers the use of the fracture management tools within the software. After loading the patient study into the planning software, use the procedure selector panel to choose the fracture option. For this tutorial, we will also select the right tibia and finally the large plate option. After clicking add procedure, use the control key on the keyboard to select both the AP and lateral views on the left of the screen and click start plan to move to the scaling. Before calibrating the x-ray image or images in scaling, check that the software has selected the correct image direction and laterality for the images and marked the left right sides and anterior posterior sides of the image correspondingly. Then use the quick scale tool to select the calibration marker to automatically calibrate the image. The software now automatically moves onto the appropriate step for the chosen procedure, in this case to the reduce tab to enable reduction of the fracture. For the remainder of the tutorial, we will concentrate on the AP view. However, everything we do on this view can be replicated on the lateral view. On the left of the screen, you will see the one available tool in this tab, the reduction tool. Once this tool is activated, you can begin the process of outlining a bone fragment or any part of the image by left-clicking points around the required area. As you click around the image, the software will automatically close the loop and to end the tracking process, either re-click on the start point or press the escape key on the keyboard. Once you have outlined an area to reduce, press and hold down the left-hand mouse button with the cursor anywhere inside the outline to move the area around. Holding down the right hand mouse button allows you to rotate the area. The point at which you click the right hand mouse button becomes the rotation point. This allows you to choose the best rotation point for a particular area. Please note that with the right hand mouse button pressed, the further you move the mouse away from the initial point, the easier it is to control the rotation. As you move an area around on the screen, you will see that the original image is left shaded. This allows you to trace over the same area multiple times if required. As well as repositioning the selected area, you can also modify the outline. Left click and hold down the mouse button to drag each point to where you want it to be. A single left click on an existing point will remove the point and a single left click on a section of line will add a new point. You can also left click and hold down the mouse button on a line to move that line. Finally, the whole outlined area can be deleted by pressing the delete key on the keyboard, having first left clicked inside the required area to select it. Right clicking inside the area causes a pop-up menu to be displayed from which a number of parameters can be modified. The reduction tool can be used as many times as required to reposition multiple fragments and reduce the fracture ready for templating. You can also come back to the reduction tab as often as required to adjust the reduction once you have started the templating process. Once you are happy with the reduction, move on to the templating tab. Here, as always, you will see your default implant with all its options and you can begin to make choices on those options as well as click on the template banner to select an alternative. Unlike planning for hip, knee and shoulder elective procedures, there are no positioning wizards used in fracture management. So the template size defaults to the size chosen the last time you use the implant and the templates are placed in the center of the screen ready for manual positioning and resizing. 
In addition to the usual options of left click to move and right click to rotate, there are some unique positioning options for fracture plates and nails. As with all templates, there is a main control point, usually at or near the top of the template. This point can be used to move it around by left clicking and holding down the mouse button and dragging. There is also a secondary control point at or near the bottom of the template that can be used to the pivot the template around the main control point and also dynamically drag it through its range of lengths or sizes as appropriate. These two control points make it easy and intuitive to position and size the template on the anatomy. Additional options such as nail diameter are selected in the menu on the left. Where available, the plates and screws are pre-populated with applicable screw types as designated by the manufacturer. These screws can be adjusted for size, position and type. To resize a screw, left click and drag on the end of the screw. The screw length can be dragged through a preset range of sizes determined by the manufacturer. Depending on the type of screw, locking or non-locking, the angle of the screw may also be altered at the same time. Where possible, screws can be repositioned by left clicking and dragging anywhere in the main body of the screw. Right clicking on the screw body provides options for changing the screw type as determined by the manufacturer, as well as the option to remove the screw completely. If a screw is removed, a marker point remains which can be right clicked to access the menu and reinsert the screw if desired. The right click menu also provides the option to label the insertion order of the screws for reference during the procedure. Depending on the plate type, the right click menu may also provide the option of changing the orientation of the plate to medial, lateral, anterior or posterior side of the bone. Finally, the software provides the ability for some plates to be bent or contoured to match the bone. If the template you are, you are using has this ability, the Start Bending button will appear below the template banner. The button provides a series of control points along the length of the plate, which can be left clicked and dragged to allow the plate to be bent in either direction. Use the Cancel Bending option to revert back to the original straight plate. To complete the planning session, everything we have done so far can be replicated on the lateral view. It is important to note that whilst all the template sizes and options will automatically be applied to both views, the position of the templates is not automatically matched and each template must be manually placed in the required position in each view. Once you have finished your plan, there are three choices at the top right of the screen for storing your plan. Save, Commit and Close. If you do not wish to store a copy of your plan, simply select Close and the work will not be saved. Both save and commit allow a copy of your plan to be stored. If save is chosen, the plan is stored in a modifiable format and can be reopened later if you wish to continue editing it. If commit is chosen, no further changes to the plan will be allowed. As well as the templated image, the software will also store a report. This report can be viewed by clicking the report button on the top left hand side of the screen. There is also an option on the main toolbar to allow selected portions of this report to be displayed on the main x-ray view. 
before using this option for the first time, right click the icon to set your preferences, then left click the icon and left click anywhere on the screen to insert the report information into the image. For additional hints and tips relating to every stage of the planning process, use the Smart Help tab located on the right hand side of the screen when using the software.